Wait, do you guys, do you hear that? Do you hear wedding bells? Cause I hear wedding bells. <laughs> So what you're about to watch is Erin's video that she did for the week that we couldn't be together. And this will be happening a lot because this program is designed for you to be able to do on your own at home, kind of like you are alone, but I'm there because the idea is that these are class workouts in your own home. So at the convenience of your own home, you're in a class environment with me as your guidance. I wanted anyone to be able to do these and make you feel that fitness isn't intimidating because I break it down step by step for you exactly what to do in the workouts, which is what Aaron's doing this week. With the food, I wanted to make these recipes so they were easy to make or more in depth if you're more of a cooker. I'm not so much myself, <laughs> but meals that were affordable that you could get at your local grocery store so you're not feeling like you have to go to all these complicated places to grab all these different recipes. They're simple, they're clean, and they're easy. So you guys can can tackle this program and not be intimidated and not feel like it's a privilege to do this. It is a privilege because taking care of yourself is a privilege in general, but not a privilege like that. It's a privilege to love yourself from the inside out so you can feel damn good. We are in week two of the official bridal program. There was a minor setback. Erin went away for the holidays, which most people do, and that's when it's really hard to stay on track. This is not something that I would recommend. Erin admits in her video that she took the two weeks off. I thought she was moving a little bit. I saw her walking on the beach, does that count? No, it definitely doesn't. I mean, if you get your heart rate up to like 65%, it can count, but did you, Erin? Because I don't think you did. That's not what you said in your video. Consistency is key, and it's like anything, right? They say it takes 21 days to form a habit or the five time rule, which I'm a big fan of. But the most important thing is Erin is back on it. The holidays hit, hit a little bit of a drop, but now she's back and she's back home and she's ready to get back into the swing of things. And it's like anything, you stop doing something and it's harder to get back into it. But, I'm on her little bridal butt about all this. <laughs> and she's ready. Her wedding is in three months, exactly the amount of time that we need because that's what this program entails. It's three month program. I like to say working out is kind of like Thomas, the engine that could. I totally just made that up, but it really worked. Cause look, little engine Thomas is like getting his steam. He's getting his steam, he's feeling good. Now imagine if he was here and he stopped, what would happen? The momentum would go down, 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 down. But no, Thomas, the little engine that could, he just kept going up, 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 up. And that's how he hit that top, right? So Erin, you know, went down a little bit. Fortunately, she's not as heavy as a train. So she's back up and moving. The workout this week is awesome. She really dug in, got down and dirty. I feel good about it. And I also feel good about how sore she's gonna be. That's with love because soreness means change. Those muscles are breaking and repairing and Erin is getting stronger and sexier for the big day with the wedding bells. Okay, so officially before we dive into the video and I start commenting on what she's doing, because that's what's gonna happen this week, I'm gonna comment on the workout that Erin's doing, I'm gonna give fitness tips, give my trainer advice, and then also you guys will get a breakdown of the recipe that she cooked this week. TJ is joining her in the journey on the nutrition side, and I think that is so beautiful and so cute. There is an entire grocery shopping list that comes with the program, and TJ and Erin have been going to the store together, like I said, to the local mart, to pick up whatever they need so she can stay on track with the meals. You have the support of me through the workouts and I provide everything for you. The support of a partner is absolutely incredible to have that in your home. Thanks TJ for the support and love and helping me build the bridal community. Okay guys, I think it's time to dive in. All right, we're in Whole Foods, as TJ calls it, Whole, Whole Foods. Foods. So I need eggs, sneaky meal bread, almond butter, honey, cranberries, avocado, and almond milk. Aaron made one of the vegan breakfasts. This is the thing, again, there are two options here. The breakfast options are pretty straightforward, pretty easy and quick to make. It's for the girl on the go and the girl who likes to cook. It's kind of a little combination of both. Cranberry. All right, just got back from the grocery store. Here's a little haul of all the things that I got. Eggs, avocado, Ezekiel bread, raw honey, cranberry, almond butter, these almond butter packets, and then some almond milk. These are some ingredients for a few of them that I really like and are super easy to make. Yes, I did. I wanted to make this so it was something easy and quick because guys, I get it. You have a busy life. You have a job. You have things to do. So why am I adding on more stress? No, no, no. What I'm doing is taking away the stress and telling you exactly how to do what to do and it tastes good. The other thing is that these are sustainable meals that actually give you energy throughout the day with all of the right ingredients that fuel your body in good ways. I'm just gonna make one of them for breakfast right now. Just Ezekiel bread, almond butter, raw honey, and cranberries. Hello toaster. <laughs> what? 
Hello, toaster. <laughs> I was just greeting the toaster. Hello, governor. Couldn't find any Ezekiel English muffins is what the recipe technically calls for. So I just got bread and I'm only gonna use one piece of it. Of course, you can substitute Ezekiel bread for the English muffin. This is the thing. Make this your own, girl, but stay on track. Make it your own in the family of what I'm offering here. Get to toast. Do a little taste test. So good. The best part about it too is obviously I sped up the footage, but this literally took maybe three minutes to make. So it's really quick and easy. It's also like a great thing to bring if you're like on the go. Could get a little messy because of the almond butter or peanut butter, whatever you choose. But two thumbs up for sure. My breakfast was so good. It may not look like a lot, but it's actually super filling. And I think it's because it's like all of these fatty, good for you protein. Even though really the only thing that that's fatty is the almond butter, but it holds you over, you know? That out of breath already just from walking up the stairs. Hopefully that isn't an indication of how this workout is going to go for me. I am about to do one of Jenna's workouts from the bridal program. Obviously she is not here and all of these workouts are made to do like on your own, at home, at the gym, wherever you wanna do it. Full transparency, I have been on vacation. I was in Hawaii for a week and then it was New Year and now it is been like almost two weeks since the last time I did any exercise. Sorry, Jenna, if you're watching this. Yes, girl, I am watching. But it is New Year, bridal program starts now. Uh, actually, the bridal program started before the holiday. Erin is technically still in phase one of the program. It's three months. The first four weeks are phase one, if you catch my drift. The second four weeks, phase two, and the third four weeks are phase three. So Erin is still in phase one of the program. Let's see how this workout goes. I'm looking forward to doing this to get back into the swing of things. For this workout, you just need some five pound weight, whatever this thing is called, another really big rubber band that doesn't connect. All I know is that it makes it harder for you to do an exercise. You'll see how they're used within the workouts. Here we go. Oh, I can't even do the first thing. Stabilize. Are we doing this right? more times. Holy moly. When I was watching the video Jenna sent me, honestly, it looked a lot easier than it is. I thought these would be easy. Honestly, my arms are burning. Erin is currently working the crap out of her back and the back of her arms in this exercise. So technically her triceps and her lats. And yes, they look super easy, but the burn is creeping in and I love that exercise for that reason. That's exactly what everyone's looking at after you pass them walking down that aisle, here and here. Jenna! If it makes you feel any happier or better, I have done every single one of these exercises by myself on my own. So yeah, I've done them too. I know what you're going through. I know how you're feeling. I created it for you to, you know, create this love-hate relationship. So these ones you're supposed to do like on a bench at a gym, but I have like a one that's basically a gym bench, but made out of wood. <laughs> so I'll use that. Actually, this exercise can be performed on the floor. You do not need a bench to do this. Lay back on the ground, open those arms up wide and bring them together. You can improvise like Erin did. She's a little innovator. I like that about her. If you want to do something like that, feel free. But the reason that Erin's core is hurting because I like taking these basic exercises like a chest fly and then incorporating incorporating a different part of your body by putting your legs up, you're now incorporating your core. That's why her core is on fire. This one you're gonna need five pound weight. I'm not gonna lie, felt that in my abs. Yes, girl, you should. These guys, it's like... How do you do this? Okay. 
Okay, I was literally just gonna comment when she stopped and I was like, okay, she's gonna get it right. So with this exercise, what you wanna do is you actually wanna squat down, then do the band abduction, then stand up, then go back down, do the band abduction, squat. So squat, stand, band abduction. Squat, stand, band abduction. Um, Aaron's kind of bouncing through it. What I really want you to do is not bounce while you're doing the banded hip abduction. My legs are like... I incorporate a lot of legs into all of the program because the legs are the largest muscle group. So what does that mean? They burn the most fat while you're working out. Largest muscle group, burn the most. Some reverse flying. Thank Jesus. Standing banded row, single leg deadlift, wide bur a burpee. Suddenly I can't read. Every part of my body is quivering. It means it's working. I don't think I've ever met a single person in the world who enjoys doing a burpee. Comment below if you're one of those people. I'd like to have a talk. Okay, so I know that all these exercises are sped up, but the key here with this exercise is to take your time. There's no weight involved, okay? Really squeeze those shoulder blades back, keep that core tight, and only allow your chest to go low as your leg is kicking up. Don't just kick that leg up or let your shoulder sag and go forward. Aaron is doing great with these. Just remember, core is key. Take your time with this movement. Okay, so technically Erin is doing a modified wide burpee. I love these. Most people won't teach you this, but they get your adductors and they really get those inner thighs looking nice and tight. All right, definitely a lot harder than the first one I did with Jenna, but wow, my body is fully done. I can't even form a sentence. This was a tough one, but I did it. I made it through. It took me literally just about an hour, so an hour out of your day, and that was also me like watching Jenna do the exercises and stuff because I don't know what they are, so once you get better at stuff, it'll not take you as long. Overall, Erin did a killer job with week two. I love that we're being able to give you guys a little bit of an inside scoop as to what's going on here, the program that's involved, the workouts that she's doing. You know, again, I started this and I was like, ooh, she took two weeks off, but she's back at it. So I'm not worried. And the new year is starting, right? Just like Erin said, she's doing the meals, she's in the program. She's getting ready for the big, big day. So she will really feel and look her best on the best day of her life. What I love about these workouts is that they're all timed, right? Everything is 30 seconds, which means right before you feel like you're gonna die, the exercise is done. And then you're moving on to the next one, which you can see in the video. I created it purposely that way, so you know, you don't kill me or hate yourself through the workouts. No, I created it that way because it's just the right amount of time that you're like, ooh, this is really burning. Oh wait, next exercise, I'm targeting a different muscle. Two more weeks of phase one, baby. We got this, we're doing it. I'm super excited that we're all doing this together and in it, and we're in it to win it. 10 more weeks ago of the program. Stay tuned, like, subscribe. Tell me what you guys want. Do you want me to keep commenting? Do you want me to tell you some other stuff? Let me know. We're in this together to win it for the wedding bells. Aaron's crushing it. Stay tuned for more, guys. Aaron, so proud of you. You really are a babe, and you'll still be a babe when you're a bride. Bye.